Hey guys, so this week I've been playing The Syndicate, which if you've never heard of this franchise, don't be surprised because for most of us it's pretty much a new franchise because it's based off games that are so old that if you actually played the original, you're going to hate this one anyways because it's nothing like the original. But is it any good? Will it, you know, stand the test of time? Will it get us into this game? Is it too much like other games? Well, here's my opinion of The Syndicate. The original Syndicate games were released in the mid-90s, but they kind of passed me by because at the time I was more into like Mortal Kombat 2 and Super Mario World than fancy strategy games. But here we are in 2012 with a new Syndicate game. The story takes place in the not too distant future where we have like computer chips in our brains but only like the really rich elite people have them and the poor don't get nothing. Gone are the days of nations and states and capitals and all that stuff. Now everything's corporations. Corporations run the world. It's kind of like that movie Rollerball. The original Rollerball, not that god-awful remake. Your character is a syndicate agent that works for this corporation and they send you in like when they need somebody killed or they need a, a technology stolen. That's what you do. You're like a one-man cyborg army. There's also a resistance force of people trying to help the poor and needy and all that stuff and they want you to help them out, you know, when you're not too busy killing hobos. Gameplay-wise, it's a pretty standard shooter when it comes to the weapons and stuff. You get a couple of different rifles, a shotgun, and some pistols. Every once in a while you get something cool like a laser rifle or a flamethrower, but pretty much standard FPS stuff. But because you're an awesome cyborg, you also get some cool cyborg powers, like you can hack into other people's chips to either persuade them to fight for you, or commit suicide, or make their weapons explode. And you can also hack the environment, like you can hack something to create cover, or if a guy has some shields, you can hack them to get rid of his shield so you can shoot him. The cyborg hacking stuff is a pretty interesting little tweak to the gameplay, but overall the gameplay feels very standard FPS. It actually feels a little too standard at times because it feels like this game is filled with all those tropes that most games kind of try and not do. It's pretty much a standard corridor shooter where you go from one corridor to the next and then you'll enter a room and then waves of guys will attack you until you finish killing all the waves of guys. Then you'll traverse the next hallway until you get to the next big room and sometimes that involves climbing through vent shafts which means you've got to go there to the vent shaft and then press X repeatedly to open it. And you rinse and repeat and do it all over again and again and again and again and again and again until you get to a boss fight. Then you kill the boss and then you repeat ad nauseum again and again and again for its relatively short campaign. I don't often talk about graphics in video games because I don't think they're super important in everything, but this game, I really kind of want to focus on it a little. From a distance, this game tricks you into thinking it's actually really good looking, but when you get up close, you realize that it's not. Compared to a lot of like AAA titles, it's not very high res textures and kind of low polygon in, in the environments and whatnot. But what they do is they flood it with light, just light everywhere, light bloom everywhere. So it's so blinding at times. I guess the style that they were going for was burning out my retinas or getting a nice tan. But it is really weird at some points when you just can't see anything unless you're in the sort of slow down bullet time mode thingy. Apart from that, the weapons and character and animation and all that stuff is pretty- OH MY GOD, WHAT IS THAT?! Yeah, so the game does have its bugs, and uh, it's quite annoying at times, but some of them are just kind of cosmetic weird stuff that you can get around. Some of them, not so much, but hopefully they'll get those hammered out. Thankfully, though, this game is not beyond hope. The, although the single player is trash, and I really think you should just avoid it at all costs, the multiplayer online co-op stuff is actually really good. It's not great, but it's actually pretty good. It seems like the co-op was designed to be more like the original games because it's a four-player co-op shooter thing where you and three other guys go after some objective. And usually the objectives are get to the end of the level and kill the guy and stuff. And they suffer from kind of the same problems of the single player in that the enemies are in specific locations. You traverse a hallway, open a door, and there are a bunch of enemies and they come at you in waves and then there's a boss and blah, blah, blah. But in the co-op, there's more choice with the, the weapon loadouts, and you can upgrade your weapons and upgrade your character in cooler ways, and you can go in with different abilities, so you can be more of a healer, or you can be more of a sniper, or you can be the guy with a big minigun that's just like, ah, ah, you know, tearing dudes apart. There's a wide variety of different levels, and some of the objectives are actually pretty interesting, like, you have to go and grab these, like, 
hard drive things and carry them back to your ship. And when you do, when you carry them, you can't, it's not like, ah, oh, you're carrying it now. You actually have to physically carry it. So you got to pull out your pistol and, you know, one hand it. Once you beat a level, you get some points, you upgrade your character, you become stronger, and then you can go in and do the battles harder, with harder difficulties, and get better at the game. If you plan to pick this game up and not play the co-op, then don't pick this game up. If you pick this game up, plan to play the co-op, because that's the only good part about this game, really. The single player is blah. The story is like, it just begins and ends, and you're like, what the hell happened? And it's all the stupid tropes from, like, last generation that I thought they designed out of games, but apparently they didn't. Uh, co-op, it's really good. I wish it were a lot better. It feels like they they could have done a lot more with it. They could have made it amazing, you know. It doesn't stand up against some of my favorite co-ops like, uh, I don't know, Killing Floor or Left 4 Dead, but it's pretty good. Maybe they'll make a sequel and then make the co-op amazing. But uh, as it is, I'd say maybe just rent it for the co-op and decide whether or not you like it. Uh, but overall, it's a... Uh, 